हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई पंकज तुमका वेलकम्स यू टू दिस क्लास ऑन फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग विथ यू अबाउट फ्लूड कैनामेटिक्स नाउ व्हाई दिस कैनामेटिक्स एंड व्हाट इट इज फ्रेंड्स कंसीडर यू अ फ्लूड इज फ्लोइंग एंड वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन नोइंग the forces which are coming into picture due to the motion of this fluid so we are interested in the forces so to know the forces that means we are interested in the dynamics that means the description of motion the cause of motion but to fully understand the dynamics the path or the geometry of the fluid flow should be clear to us so the motion of the material points within a fluid if they are not known to us then we won't be able to find out the dynamics and we forces and ultimately the dynamics so to understand dynamics we should understand the motion of fluid and this is the one which is called as kinematics so what is kinematics kinematics of fluid is that where we try to understand the geometrical behavior of fluid that is the try to analyze the motion of fluid so to do so we uh, normally follow two approaches or we normally follow two reference frames these are the lagrangian and eilerian reference frame or lagrangian or eilerian approaches to understand the motion of a fluid so what is lagrangian approach let me explain this to you what is lagrangian frame of reference or lagrangian approach so consider a domain in which a fluid particle is moving let us say this is the fluid particle which is moving in this particular domain and i am interested in knowing that what is the velocity of this fluid particle in this domain as the time marches means as the time goes on that means as the particle passes through this contraction so what how the velocity changes so in lagrangian approach what we do we take any arbitrary time let us say that the time when the particle was here is t not what particle this particle so what we are doing this we are tagging the particle we are applying a tag to the particle what type of tag that when the time was t0 what was the particle at this point let us say this particle is a a was the particle at this time where at this special location let us say with respect to any coordinate let us say this is s not so s not is the position of this particle s not is the position of this particular particle with respect to some coordinates so what we have done is we have taken a point in a time that at this time at this special location this is the particle i am tagging so the moment you do so basically what you are trying to do is you are trying to follow this particular particle as this particle has already been tagged so if at this point this is the velocity if particle reaches here then this will be its velocity likewise so what is happening here you will be saying that the velocity of the material point or this particular particle will be now the function of its original spatial location or the reference location when time was t not and the time which is marching that means the particle originally was at s not location at time t not and at some time t1 it is here at some time t2 it is here and so on then we can track the particle while it's moving in the domain so this particular approach where we tag the particle uh, by uh, using its original spatial location and the uh, time variation so this is what we call as the lagrangian approach so if you are having n number of particle then you have to tag each and every particle in the flow domain then only you will be able to analyze the problem in its totality so if you write this and if 
this is x axis this is y axis and this is z axis and uh, the velocity in the uh, x direction is u in the y direction is v and in the z direction is w then this u will be the function of this s naught that is x naught y naught z naught and t likewise this v will also be the function of these likewise w will also be the function of these okay and likewise the acceleration so what we have done is we have given a identity to the particle individual particle in the flow domain and we are trying to track that particular particle as it's moving into the domain so that we can know the behavior of this particular particle while passing through the <coughs> any region or ultimately all the particles and that will give me the full picture of the uh, uh, of the fluid now one thing very important in this particular case is that as you have tracked each and every particle as you are tracking each and every particle so the mass is inherently conserved you needn't have to watch here and there for mass conservation because as, as every particle has been tagged and tracked ultimately so there is no point of uh, balancing the mass mass of uh, particle in lagrangian approach is already mass of the fluid in lagrangian approach is already conserved automatically it is being checked but the problem with this particular method is that it will be very difficult for us to uh, uh, simultaneously add integrate these equations to get the full picture of the theory so what normal practice is instead of following lagrangian approach we follow the second approach or the second frame of reference that is called as eilerian approach after the great mathematician leonard euler what we do is if this is our domain and we are interested to know the behavior of the fluid what we do with respect to this this coordinate let us say we fix some point in space as if we have placed some probe there so we fix the point and we don't give any regard to whatever is coming before that point if this is the point so whatever coming before what is happening to the particle as it leaves no we are interested only what is happening here so that's why this particular region is also called as sometimes as control volume <coughs> so friends when any fluid particle or let us say start with the eilerian so we fix the uh, different coordinates and uh, so we fix the different point in this domain and we try to find out what is the velocity or any parameter at this particular point only at this point or at let us say this point we are not interested in material points anymore whatever is coming or leaving we are interested in the spatial location in the coordinate for example if you want to know uh, let us say this is the pipe and you want to know what is the velocity at or temperature at this particular point so you will be keeping a probe here that is your in your laboratory coordinates that your laboratory coordinates are nothing but the eilerian uh, coordinates and each and every particle whichever is crossing this particular point will be arriving at the velocity of this particular point only therefore in eilerian approach this velocity will simply be the function of spatial location or the point which we have set and the time so how this velocity is changing with respect to time at this particular point is what the eilerian approach is we need not have to follow each and every particle in the spatial domain okay so that's why this becomes very simple and if we are interested in acceleration let us say that will again be the function of these spatial coordinates times time and time okay so uh, this is your eilerian approach and whenever in the future study whenever we will be talking of we will be saying or talking in terms of eilerian field of reference only these two different approaches though looks different but they are the same because if a particle has to cross this particular point let us say then at the point at this particular point 
whenever a particle approaches the velocity of this particular point at that time will be nothing but the velocity of the particle at this particular point at that time therefore they are the same therefore these two different looking approaches are the same so for example you want to know the position that how position of any material point is changing so you consider this eulerian field and you know this velocity is the change in displacement which is v st now you integrate this equation so you will be getting dt plus a constant now this constant will be basically telling you something about some particle which was there at some initial location or some arbitrary location at some time so this becomes the definition of the path of the particle traced okay so this is the linkage between lagrangian and eulerian approach so remember what is kinematics kinematics is basically the uh, study of motion of fluid because once motion is clear then only we will be able to analyze the dynamic or the forces uh, which are acting on the fluid there are two approaches these are first one is lagrangian and second one is eulerian in lagrangian approach we tag the particle and we follow uh, that particular particle whereas in eulerian eulerian approach we don't tag any particle we only fix the spatial location we we concentrate our attention on the spatial location and try to understand what is happening at that particular point as the time passes so this is all in this particular lecture in the next lecture we will be talking of the type of flows that how many types of flows are there steady unsteady uniform non uniform and so on so in this lecture till this point only if you enjoyed the video please do like share and subscribe thank you very much